This is the Inception Workout. I'm Mark Perry, your trainer and coach. For the next 30 minutes, I'm here to help guide you, support you, and push you to give your best effort. You'll be getting strength, cardio, and fat burning benefits in this full body strength circuits workout. We're gonna get started with a warm up to prime your body and mind to maximize your results. The first exercise is knee hugs. Step your left leg out, pull that right knee into your chest in just three, two, one, let's get started. So step that left leg out, pull that right knee into your chest. You can also go onto the ball of your left foot to increase the stretch and pull that knee even higher up towards your chest. Stand tall, shoulders back, chest out, head up. Make this smooth, keep your balance. That's a really important part of this exercise is to actually keep your balance. In five seconds, we're gonna be switching to the other side. Um, and we're going to switch to your left leg. So now step out with your right leg, pull that left knee into your chest. We're mobilizing the glutes and hamstrings, increasing your hip range of motion, and warming up the muscles on the front of the hip of the standing leg here. Again, we're just kind of warming up, getting the body going, getting the blood flowing. And we've got 10 more seconds, so get some more reps here. And then we're gonna be switching over in five seconds to leg kicks. All right, let's get started with leg kicks. We're gonna step out with your left leg and kick with your right leg, keeping it relatively straight. Don't try to kick too hard, just relax, be smooth. Um, you can also use your opposite hand uh, as like a target. So if you're kicking with that right leg, you can use your left hand and try to kick it. And then over time, kick higher and higher. In five seconds, we're gonna be switching over to the left leg. So a couple more seconds. Now let's start stepping out with that right leg and kick the left leg. Uh, if you flex your toe, by the way, towards your shins, you can get an even greater stretch here uh, on both your hamstrings and your calves. Again, we're mobilizing your hamstrings and calves, activating your core, activating your nervous system to get ready for the workout. We've got 10 more seconds before we move on to the next warm up. So let's get a few more reps here. And then we're gonna dive into spider stretch with rotation. So you're gonna be uh, in a push-up position. You're gonna step out with your right leg, getting as close as you can to your hand. You're gonna twist open toward the sky, twist back down to the ground, and then step back. Uh, if you're unable to bring your foot all the way up, that's okay. Just go as far as you can over time. You're going to really be able to uh, get all the way up to the hand. Um, breathe slowly, breathe deeply. You're not in a rush with this exercise. It's the opposite. We're opening up the entire body. We are literally stretching your shoulders, your T-spine, your chest, your neck, your hips, your hamstrings. Every muscle in your body is being activated and mobilized with this one exercise. So focus and breathe deeply and let your body open. Let the body open so we can get more limber for the workout, okay? We've just got about, uh, about five seconds left and we're gonna dive into the bird dog. So finish your rep. And now get onto your hands and knees with your arms positioned under your shoulders and your knees positioned under your hips. We're extending one arm and then the opposite leg. And what I want you to think about here is keeping that back leg straight squeezing the glute of the back leg and pointing the toe down toward the ground. You're also keeping the arm straight as you're extending it. And what I really want you to think about also is, uh, the, is the core activation. So you're activating the core between, your the, between the arm that's on the ground, so let's just say it's your right arm, and then, and then opposite knee. So it's like a cross pattern. There's a core activation exercise. We're keeping the low back flat and hips neutral. Your head isn't moving. We've got five more seconds and you're gonna stand up and do some jumping jacks. All right, get on your feet. Let's start jumping. We're jumping your feet out wide as you raise your arms overhead. And then we're jumping the feet back together while you bring your arms back down to your sides. And you're being light on your feet here. You're being fluid and smooth. You're building up the athleticism. You're getting the blood flowing, warming up the legs and arms, stimulating the muscles in the sides of your hips. You're increasing your heart rate 
so you can mentally and physically prepare to make the most of this workout. Okay, so I really want you to start visualizing the workout you're about to do, the uh, strength circuits, the effort you're going to put, put in, how this is going to be helping your body, improving your health, right? We're getting better today. That's what this is all about, is improving you. And let's get a, a few more reps in here. We've got 10 seconds left. And then we're going to be done with the warm-up. Just about five more seconds. Get a couple more reps in here. And then we are done with the warm-up. Okay, so as you're catching your breath, I'm going to give you the workout summary. We're doing the following five exercises, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for three rounds, resting one minute in between each round. We're going to do a bodyweight squat, forward lunge, push-ups, bicycles, jumping jacks as the five exercises, and then we're going to do a cross-body crunch as a finisher. Uh, this is a body weight focused workout, so you can do this at a hotel, Wherever you are, you can do this workout because it's all body weight. We're hitting everything. We're getting uh, your cardio. We're getting every muscle in your body. And we're going to get started in a moment with body weight squats in 20 seconds. You're going to stand upright with your feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart, toes pointed slightly outward, keeping your neck straight, shoulders locked down, and arms extended in front of you. Drop your hips down while pushing your knees outwards so they're in line with your toes. You're going to drop down into a squat and push back up in five seconds. Let's get started. Three, two, one. Let's go for it. Okay, so let's get in a rhythm here. We're going to squat down and come back up, pushing those knees out so that you're just kind of sitting down in between your knees. Let's keep on going. Let's get at least 20 reps here. I know you're going to feel a nice burn in your legs. That's kind of the whole point is to improve your muscular endurance and get stronger. We've got 10 more seconds. Stay in a groove here. Stay in a groove. Keep on going. We've got three, two, one. Well done. First exercise done. Next, we're going to do forward lunges. Uh, by the way, we're doing body weight forward lunges here. So you're going to hold your hands either on your hips or, um, you know, on your in the back of your head is fine. So we're going to stand upright with your feet shoulder width apart. And we're going to lunge forward with your right leg while dropping your hips downward. And then we're going to push back up to start a position. So even though the video shows with dumbbells, don't worry, it's body weight. We're going to do three seconds, two, one. Let's get started. Let's start lunging with your right leg. Drop that left knee down and then come back up and alternate. Push out your left leg and keep on going. This is a plyometric exercise. And we really want to uh, make it forceful and push it. Okay. Uh, keep your balance, stay upright, head up, chest up, shoulders back, and let's get in a rhythm here. We only have five seconds left. Three, two, one, and we are on to the third exercise in round number one, push-ups. Classic upper body exercise. You can't do enough push-ups, okay? In 20 seconds... You're going to position your body with your arms straight out, abs tight, holding your body off the floor. Hands and arms are positioned slightly below your shoulders, fingers pointed forward. You're going to lower your body until your chest is an inch or two above the floor and then push back up until your arms, arms are about to lock and then repeat. And we're getting started in just three seconds, so get in position right now. One second. Let's start banging them out. I really want nice form here. Your elbows are going out at 90 degree angles. They're not flaring out to your sides. Your shoulders are down away from your ears. And we're building, pushing strength, building your triceps, your chest, your shoulders, keeping that core tight. Keeping the core tight. I want to see it nice and tight here. We're almost there. We've only got uh, 10 seconds left. Your whole body is one plank. The only thing that's moving are your arms. Three, two, one. Well done. We're more than halfway through round number one. We're getting some momentum here. Uh, next up, we've got bicycle crunches, a.k.a. bicycles. And you're going to be lying on your back with your hands behind your head and your knees bent to 90 degree angles over your hips. Without pulling on your head, you're going to crunch up so that your head and shoulders are away from the ground. Extend your right leg straight as you cross your right elbow to your left knee. So we're essentially just crisscrossing back and forth, building those abbeys. Three seconds, two, one, get on your back and let's start going. All right, start cycling those legs. By the end of this, you should be feeling a nice burn. Keep on going. Let's get at least 20 reps here. So nice and smooth. Kick them out straight. In the demonstration, 
I'm doing a little bit slower than you probably have to, but it's up to you how fast you go. And just keep on going. Push out those legs. Push out those legs straight as you can. Low back flat. Keep your low back safe. Three, two, one. Way to push yourself. We are on to jumping jacks. Again, I, I think that this is such a smooth circuit. Um, I really love the, uh, the inception workout. So we've got jumping jacks. You're going to jump your feet out wide as you raise your arms overhead. And you're going to jump, jump them back together. Bring your arms down to your sides. You know how to do this, guys. All right. So uh, we're getting started in just five seconds. So stand up if you're not standing up. And let's do this. Two, one. Let's get some jumping jacks in here. Nice and strong. We're jumping out to the side and jumping back in. And this is an underrated exercise because we're building lateral hip strength. Uh, it's an athletic movement, a lot more athletic than people probably realize. Um, so just keep on going. Let's get a nice rhythm here and be light on your feet. Be light on your feet. Feel athletic. We've got 10 more seconds. Let's get another five, six, seven reps. In five seconds, we're going to be done with the first round. Three, two, one. First round is done. I, this is a smooth, smooth workout. This is smooth. I really enjoy this one. I hope you are too. Let's walk around, get some water. Um, no sitting. And visualize this workout, right? We've got the bodyweight squats. We've got the forward lunges. We've got the push-up. We've got the bicycle crunches. And we've got the jumping jacks. So really what we have is we have a squat or leg exercise. We've got a single leg exercise with the lunges. Then we have a push exercise with the push-ups. A core exercise with the bicycle crunches. And then a plyo with the jumping jacks. Again, it's very smooth, and uh, we're going get, to get the ball rolling again in just a moment with bodyweight squats in 20 seconds. Again, you're going to stand upright with your feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart, toes pointed slightly outward. You're keeping your neck straight, shoulders locked down, and arms extended in front of you. You're going to drop your hips down and then squat back up. In five seconds, we're getting started. Come on, stand up, and let's get ready to go. Three, two, one. Let's get 20 reps here if you can. Drop all the way down and go up. Drop all the way down and come up. Knees pushing out, shoulders locked down, head, is high, head up as much as you can, and we're going to get a nice burn in those legs. That's the purpose here. Build some leg strength. Even if you squat 400 pounds, this is an effective exercise. 10 more seconds. Keep it up. We've got five more seconds. Let's get some more reps here. Three, two, one. Well done. We're moving on to our single leg exercise. Um, now that you got a little, a little burn with those uh, squats, you're going to be feeling these forward lunges as well. And we got want to get a nice stretch here, and we want to make it smooth. Um, so you know the drill with the forward lunge. You're just going to step out, drop your hips down, the back knee is close to the floor, and then we're going to push back up. We're going to get started in just five seconds. Let's get mentally prepared here. You can put your hands on your hips or behind your head. One second, let's get into it. Step out with your right leg, drop down, and then come back up. I want you to keep that torso as straight as you can and be really forceful, okay, as you're pushing up. And then also maintain your balance. That's really a key part of this exercise, right, is maintaining your balance. We're halfway there. Keep on going. Let's get some more reps. Ten seconds left. We're building your core stabilization and leg strength here. Three, two, one. Well done. We've got push-ups next. We're going to be doing uh, as many reps as you can. You're going to position your body with your arms straight out, abs tight, holding your body off the floor, and you know the drill. You're going to drop your chest down and push it back up. Quick tip, grab the floor with your fingers. Slight bend in your fingers. Grab the floor, grip it. It's going to help you get even more reps and protect your wrist. We're going to get started in just three seconds. Two, one. Let's go for it. Drop down and then come up. Drop down and then come up. Your shoulders are away from your ears. Your elbows are at 45 degree angles. Your body is one stiff plank from your heels to your head. You can't, there's nothing moving. The only thing that's moving are your arms. Again, grip the floor. Activate those muscles in your forearms. To take pressure off your wrist. In 10 seconds, we're done. Let's get some more reps here. You can do this. If you can't do all the reps, just hold the plank in the top position. Three, two, one. 
Well done. We are more than halfway through round number two. It's going fast. Next up are bicycle crunches, AKA bicycles. And uh, you know the drill here. You're gonna lay on your back with your hands behind your head and your knees bent at 90 degree angles. And when, I, when you do this one, I really want you to think about extending your legs completely straight out because most people don't do that. Of course, you wanna keep your low back flat against the ground and try to touch that elbow to the opposite knee. We're gonna get started in three, two, one. I wanna see really good reps right now. I wanna see very high quality reps. We're not really lifting weights this entire workout, so let's improve the quality and get great reps and more reps. Come on, touch the elbow to the knee or get as close as you can. Stick that, stick that leg straight out. Uh, the foot should just be hovering over the ground as you extend it straight out. We're almost there. You should be feeling a nice burn here. Just breathe through it. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Catch your breath. We've got jumping jacks next. Again, this is a smooth workout. And if you want to take it to a different level, you certainly can uh, use a weighted vest or a 20 pound weighted vest next time. Um, we've got jumping jacks. Coming up in just a moment, you're jumping your feet out wide as you raise your arms overhead, and then you're jumping feet, you put your feet back together and bringing your arms down. You know how to do jumping jacks. Uh, we're gonna get started in five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's let's pick up the pace here. Let's pick up the pace. Let's pick up the pace. I want I want I want more reps here. Let's get at least at least thirty, if not forty or even fifty, depending on fast, how fast you go. Um, again, it's up to you how hard you push yourself. I'm here to help guide you to get the best results possible. We've got 10 seconds left. Get me another 10, 15 reps right now. Come on, push it. Jump out laterally, nice and strong. Come on, balls of your feet. Two, one, round number two is done. Walk around, catch your breath, do some stretching if you want. Grab some water. Anything but sitting is cool with me. And we're gonna get started with round number three. You're doing well, you're staying focused. As you can probably tell, with these bodyweight exercises, we're doing higher reps, which means we get a very serious muscle pump and muscle burn. And this type of training is exceptional and it's really great complement to your weight training, right? Because if you're always using weights, you don't really have to always use weights. You know, this kind of bodyweight focused workout is phenomenal, especially when you're traveling. So um, keep this up. We're gonna get started with bodyweight squats in just 20 seconds. I know that you're probably gonna be hating me by the end of this set, but it's okay. I have your best interests in heart. I want you to get a lean, mean fighting machine. We're gonna be started in just five seconds. So get in the position, three, two, one, feet shoulder width apart or wider than shoulder width apart and let's just drop down those hips. Drop the hips down, get a little bit lower this time. Come on, get a little bit lower. Get a little bit lower, get a little bit lower. We need, I'd love for you to get 20 reps, 15, 15 minimum. Come on, you can do this. I know you're feeling the burn. Just breathe through it. I wanna hear you breathe louder. Breathe, breathe louder through, through the burn. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Well done. We've got the forward lunge next. And as we've been talking about, the theme really here is, is higher reps more of a muscle burn, and we're just working through it and uh, enjoying it, okay? We're gonna enjoy the muscle burn, and it feels fantastic. We're gonna get started in uh, 10 seconds. With your right leg out, drop those hips, and then push back up to starting position. In five seconds, we're getting started. Three, two, one. Step out with your right leg, drop the back knee, and then come back up. So the back knee, should be just about grazing the floor. So you're getting a really nice range of motion here. And you can step out as far as you want. You should feel a little bit of a stretch on the back leg. And that's kind of what I like. Um, and we're gonna keep our torso and head up if you can. We're getting there. Come on, get some more reps. I know you're feeling the burn. We got five more seconds. Three, two, one. You're killing it. Well done. We're almost rounding the corner for round number three. We got push-ups next, and I'd love for you to get over 10 push-ups. If you keep, by the way, if you if you were unable to do all the push-ups, you can just hold 
the high plank position. We're starting in 10 seconds. Get in push-up position right now. We got five, four, three, two, one. All right, start dropping down and pushing them out. Really nice form here. Grip the floor, drop down and push them out. I don't want your head moving around. I want your neck neutral. I want your core neutral. Your core is the whole key to this exercise. The only thing that are, is moving right now are your arms. I want your core tight. 10 more seconds. Come on, keep that core tight and push it. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. We've got bicycles next. We're rounded the corner. We've only got two exercises left. Keep the momentum, keep focused. We've got a lot, again, this is a lot of reps, probably more reps than just about any other strength circuit I've ever created. So let's just keep on going. We've got 10 more seconds and we're doing bicycles. Get on your back. You're going to be crunching up and you're going to be cycling your knees towards your chest in three, two, one. Let's go for it. Come on. Come on. Crunch up and twist. Crunch up and twist. Crunch up and twist. Knees are coming up. Perfect. Keep on going. We need more reps here. Push those, push those legs out straight. We're almost there. We're almost done with round number three. Come on, leave it all. Just push it as hard as you can. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. We are done with cr bicycle crunches. No more of those. And next we have jumping jacks. And we're going to ride into the sunset, into our finisher. And we're going to be done with round three after this. In just 15 seconds, we're going to get started with jumping jacks. In 10 seconds, we're getting started. So get ready, visualize for the exercise, and let's crush it. Let's finish strong. Three, two, one. Let's go for it. Jump out wide and jump back in and really get that plyometric component. I want you to be on the balls of your feet here. Make it look athletic. Make it look smooth. Get in a rhythm and remember to breathe. Halfway there, 15 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. You are done with the strength circuit portion of this workout. Congratulations. Uh, I'm sure you're feeling a nice little muscle burn just about everywhere. We've got a nice pump and uh, we're going to be doing a cross, cross body crunch and you're probably going to hate me even more after the third round of the cross body crunch and the finisher. But I really do care about you and I want the best for you and that's why I'm going <laughs> to force you to do this. Okay. 30 seconds left. Walk around, grab some water and hey, if you want your abs to show, this is how it's going to happen. It's not going to happen sitting on the couch you know, eating ice cream. That's not how it works. We got to put, we got to work for it. 15 seconds left. We got cross body crunches. Come on. You can do this. 10 seconds. We're getting 20 seconds on 10 seconds off for three rounds in just five seconds. We're starting four, three, two, one. And we're just reaching your arms overhead and touching the opposite leg. Perfect. Excellent. Your arms are extended overhead, legs straight, and we're just touching the opposite leg. Keeping that leg straight, by the way, as straight as you can, and your arms as straight as you can. We've got five more seconds. Come on, let's get some more reps here. We've got three, two, one. Rest for 10 seconds. Just chill. Deep breathe. Because in five seconds, we're starting again. And again, breathe through the burn here. One second. Come on, let's get some more reps here. I need at least 10 reps. 10. Nine, come on, keep on going. Faster. Nice, low back flat against the ground. 10 more seconds, we're halfway there, come on. Come on, breathe through it, push through it. Three, two, one. This is it, this is the last round. Focus, focus, five more seconds. Three, two, one. One, let's get after it, come on. Arms extended overhead and we're just touching uh, opposite arm to opposite leg. Keep on going. 
Come on, this is the last one. I want you to give everything you've got. You've got the rest of the day. Come on. Eight, seven, six. Keep on going. Come on, come on, come on. Three, two, one, and you are done. Excellent job today. Congratulations on pushing yourself, making progress, and improving your body. You can rest for the next minute, just no sitting. Walk around, grab some water, slow down your breathing. We're going to do the cool down next. We're gonna be doing the 90-90 stretch, half kneeling stretch, sit and reach, lying T-spine rotation, and child's pose. We're gonna be increasing the range of motion of your joints so you can feel more limber and athletic, and you can do even better the next workout. Uh, we're going to be starting in just 20 seconds with the 1990 stretch. Again, walk around, relax. Take those last couple sips of water because in 10 seconds we're getting on the ground and we're doing the 9090 stretch. All right, just five seconds, get onto the ground. And we're starting the cool down. Okay, so we're sitting down on the ground, twisting your right leg in front of you and your left leg behind you so that both knees are forming 90 degree angles and you're gonna slowly fold over the front leg. You're not gonna to try to push it or force it. We're just letting go. If you're unable to breathe slowly and deeply, you gotta back off this stretch. Okay, again, we're not forcing anything. We're just relaxing and letting go. In five seconds, we're gonna to switch to the other leg. Two, one. Let's switch to the other leg. We're gonna get that left leg in front and the right leg behind you, forming both 90 degree angles. Maintain steady and deep breathing. We're increasing your hip mobility, loosening the small muscles in your hips and thighs. And this stretch can actually improve your squat depth and lunge form as well. Just breathe and relax. In five seconds, we're gonna to switch to the half kneeling stretch. A few more seconds and let's go to the half kneeling stretch. You're starting the half kneeling stance with your left leg forward, your right knee down on the ground, forming roughly 90 degree angles, and then you're going to push your hips forward while squeezing your right glute until you feel a stretch in the front of your right leg. You can raise your right arm toward the sky to really increase the stretch and just hold it and relax. In five seconds, we're gonna get started with the other side. A couple more seconds. Now let's do the left knee down, right, uh, right leg forward. And we're improving your quadriceps, your hip flexors, um, taking pressure off your low back. We're just opening up the hips. We got 10 more seconds. And just relax into this stretch, okay? No forcing. Five more seconds. We're gonna get on to the sit and reach. So now let's uh, sit down on the ground. You're gonna, with both legs straight, you're gonna bring the bottom of your left foot against your right inner thigh and you're gonna fold over your right leg. And you're gonna hinge from your hips instead of rounding your back too much. As you exhale, you're gonna fold even further onto your right leg without forcing it. Good, breathe deeply. In five seconds, we're gonna go to the other leg. Just hold it, try not to fidget too much. Let's get to the other side. Let's extend that left leg and pull the right foot into your, uh, sorry, the right foot into your left inner thigh. Um, you should not feel any pain, by the way, in your hamstring. If you are, you can just bend the leg slightly, but ideally you wanna keep that left leg completely straight and just relax for increasing your hip, hamstring, and calf flexibility. In five seconds, we're gonna to get to the line T-spine rotation. Okay, beautiful. Let's lay on your right side with your hips and shoulders stacked, knees bent up to 90 degrees, your arms extended straight in front of your chest, palms touching, you're gonna keep your hips stable and reach your left hand behind you as you rotate through your spine. And then you're gonna reach your arms apart like a T as you exhale and just relaxing and sinking into the ground. Eventually, your upper back is gonna be completely flush with the ground. In just a few seconds, we're gonna to get to the other side. Okay, let's do the same thing with the other side. We're gonna be on your left side here with your hips and shoulders stacked. You're gonna reach with your right arm. 
and we're just going to sink into it and relax. We're increasing the range, range of motion of your thoracic spine, your shoulders, your chest, and even your hips. We're opening up your body to reveal your real flexibility here. In five seconds, we're going to go to our last exercise of the day, the child's pose. So now you're going to start on your hands and knees in a tabletop position. You're going to sit your hips back towards your heels as far as you comfortably can and extend your arms forward as you relax your head and chest down toward the ground. Okay? And I really just want you to melt into the ground so that your chest starts to fall onto your knees and your thighs and your hips start to fall onto your heels. And we're just melting into the ground. You can also, if you choose, kind of start walking your hands a little bit to one side and the other to stretch out both sides of your torso. Or you can just absolutely chill and relax motionless, which is a very good option. Deep breathing here. I want you to breathe in and out. In five seconds, we're done. And that is it. Amazing job. Congratulations. I'm going to see you in the next workout.